Yo, Dan Tricks here again, doing tricks from these amazing books to make your worlds that little bit more, well, fun. And today I've got some more effects from Card College Volume 4. Now, the tricks out of Volume 4 are a bit more advanced, require a little bit more practice, but I hope you'll like the three tricks that I've chosen out of this book for today. Let's get into the first trick. I hope you enjoy, see you after it. Okay, now you've just done your favourite four ace production, but I'm gonna get straight into the effect. Take the cards from here, we'll give them a little mix, like so, and the four aces go into different locations of the deck. So ace number one, ace number two, goes in there, ace number three, goes in there, ace number four, goes into there. Uh, four aces go into the deck, like so. We we'll cut the cards, we'll give the cards a little mix. Now, we're going to find the first ace, let's say the ace of clubs, and I'm going to spell out to that card. So A C E O F C L U B, and then S. That's the ace of clubs, that's the first ace. Let's try and find the second ace. And the second ace now, we're going to try and find that in some fancy little way, let's see. Oh, there's the next ace, magically appears, face up, just like so. Now, the, th the third ace, the spectators can do this, but I haven't got a spectator, so I'm gonna do it myself. I'm gonna come up to the card, just like that, and that brings us to the third ace. Now, <clears throat> the fourth and final ace, we'll do a nice little cut, we'll just cut over here, over there, over there, and then of course, over here, and the spectators, you can get them to do that. And now that little fancy little cut actually brings the ace to the top. Oh, hold on, that's a seven of hearts. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven brings us to the last and final ace. And that is how you find the four aces. But, this is a whirlwind of a trick, and it doesn't stop there, because if I take these four aces, place them face down, or place them on the table, like so, snap the fingers, the four aces then become the four kings. And in the pack is now the seven of hearts face up, but we don't want the seven of hearts, we want the aces. So, A, C, E, S, and that, hopefully, brings us to the four aces, just like so. And now we have the four aces and the four kings, not a seven in sight. What a whirlwind of a trick, confuse me. And that was called Ace Capades, and that's on page 1055. So if you've got this fantastic book, make sure you check that out. Hope you enjoyed it. Please, obviously let me know what you think in the comments section. So let's get into the second effect. I hope you enjoy this, and uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, now this is a classic in magic. Have a pack of cards, and the spectator selects any card from the deck. In this case, the Four of Hearts. They can sign their name, big and bold, on the card. Obviously, if their name's not big and bold, they can write their real name. In this case, his name is Sam. Sam's card, Four of Hearts, gets lost into the deck, like so. Make sure it's lost, we'll give it a shuffle, like that. And Sam's card is lost. Now, it could be on top. It's not. It could be on the bottom. It's not. Somewhere in this pack is Sam's card. Now, all I've got to do is snap my fingers and it jumps to the top of the pack. Watch Sam's card and take the four hearts about halfway in the deck. All I've got to do is snap and it jumps to the top of the deck. We'll do it again. The four hearts goes about halfway in the pack. Push it in, just like that. And then again, it jumps to the top of the deck. Now, after you've done your little ambitious thing, you can go into the trick from the book, and it goes like this. See, all the cards from the back are the same, which makes this effect a bit confusing. But, if I was to take Sam's card face up, place it in the deck face up, you can see the difference there, look. Now, what I do need 
is a helper for this effect. And the helper card is gonna help me locate the four of hearts, in this case, the queen. If I take that helper card, place it on top, and press it, it brings the four of hearts face up to the top of the deck. We'll place that in the pack, queen of hearts go down there, we'll take the four of hearts, push it in, just like so. The queen, the helper card, goes on top, and press it, and it jumps back to the top. Now let's lose that four of hearts in the deck again, just like so. We're losing the card. And all we're gonna do is take the top card, turn over the second one, and it's the seven of spades, not the selection. But if I take that seven of spades and give it a little rub, it becomes the selection, the four of hearts. So what we do is we take the queen of hearts, the helper card, we don't need that anymore, that can go into the deck. We'll take the four of hearts, that'll go about halfway in the pack, like so, and you can see it goes into the deck, just like so. All I've got to do is snap my fingers and it jumps to the top of the pack. It's the four of hearts. We'll do it again, place the four of hearts in the pack, and I'm going to place it at about centre of the deck, like so. Watch carefully, it goes into the deck, like this. Press the beep, top card and it jumps to the top of the pack, the four of hearts. Now all I'm going to do is take that four of hearts one last time, goes over here, place the rest of the pack on top, just square it up, snap the fingers, and the four jumps back to the top. And that is a nice little add-on for your ambitious card. Routine. And that second effect there was called Ultra Ambitious. And obviously that'll go well into any ambitious card routine. And that's on page 1005. Let's get into this last one now, the third effect. I hope you enjoy this. See you after. Now, for this little effect, a spectator can pick a pair of cards, any a black, black twos or red fours or whatever. Let's say in this case, they pick the black queens. So we'll look for the queens. There's queen number one. And the other black queen somewhere in here. So we can find that. There's the other black queen. That's queen number two. And now we're going to need a future card. And this card is going to help us out in the future. And we'll place that card over here. Now, two spectators each select a card. In this case, let's say they pick the 10 of hearts and the seven of hearts, the 10 and the seven of hearts. We'll take the 10 of hearts, place it into the deck. Oh, so we'll lose that card like that. And we'll take the seven of hearts and that will get lost in the pack as well. In fact, let's give them a Hindu shuffle because everybody loves a Hindu. Now I'm going to do, take these cards from here, give them a little shuffle, like so, and, oh, lovely. Now all that shuffling and cutting, one of the cards could be on top, it's not, could be on the bottom, it's not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the cards like so, and I'm going to say to the spectator, if they could just cut a small pile, any size pile they wish, and they do so, they cut the pile over here, it could be any size, I take the two black coins over here and I'm going to place them on top like so place the rest of the deck on there we'll take the future card and that's going to help us find the cards now trapped between the two queens is in fact one of the selections the ten of hearts the ten of hearts being trapped between the two queens now again we're going to take the two queens and of course the future card the cards like that, and now that brings the seven of hearts to the top of the pack, just up to ten of clubs. Hold on a minute, let's check this future card, because that has now become the seven of hearts. Ooh, that spooky. And that was called Trapped in the Future. And that's on page 834. So I hope you like these three effects, quite nice tricks I think. And I'd like to hear what you guys think. You think they're rubbish? I don't know. Now, I want to get into something else. I just want to wait, wait a minute. Now, this is what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for this for ages. It's actually just come back out into print. So, 
Let's open it up. Got it from the old vanishing ink. By Forces Unseen, written by Stephen Minch. Then it's Card Magic by Ernest Eric. Eric, Ernest Eric, Eric. <laughs> I was looking for it on eBay and they were selling it for like £300. Just come back into print and I managed to get it for 45 Now the effects in this book are absolutely fantastic. I've seen a few of them on YouTube. I can't wait to get my head into this book, learn some of these effects and show them to you. Smells very new. So anyway, we've had three effects from Card College Volume 4. We're gonna do a few more out of this book next week as well, because there's so many nice effects in this volume. So I might as well do a couple more in the next video. Can't wait to show you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, leave a thumbs up, press the bell, all that malarkey, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.